Have you ever wondered how deep the roots of the Palestine region reach into the past? This land, often at the center of historical narratives, is home to secrets buried deep within its soil, dating back to a time when civilization itself was in its infancy. Imagine, if you will, the clock winding back some 12,000 years. This is a period when the earliest echoes of human life began to resonate in this region. In the vast expanse of time that followed, the land that we now know as Palestine saw the rise and fall of numerous civilizations. The Canaanites, known for their rich culture and artistry, left their mark on this land. The Philistines, from whom Palestine gets its name, established themselves as a significant maritime power, and then there were the Israelites, whose historical and religious significance continues to shape the region's identity today. The imprint of these ancient civilizations forms the bedrock of Palestine's rich history. Imagine a time when the Roman Empire extended its reach to Palestine. In 63 BCE, Roman legions under General Pompey marched into Palestine, bringing with them sweeping changes. This marked the beginning of a significant era as the region became a part of the vast and powerful Roman Empire. Under Roman rule, Palestine underwent considerable cultural and political shifts. The Romans introduced new administrative systems, built impressive infrastructures, and transformed the region's socio-economic landscape. Yet the most profound legacy of this period was spiritual. Amidst these changes, a humble carpenter from Nazareth named Jesus began his ministry. His teachings emphasizing love, compassion, and forgiveness resonated with many. As his following grew, so did the influence of his message. Though his life ended on a Roman cross, his teachings lived on, eventually giving birth to a new religion, Christianity. The Roman era in Palestine left a significant mark, especially with the advent of Christianity. Fast forward to the 7th century, a time of sweeping change across the Middle East. The Islamic forces, led by the Caliph Umar ibn al-Khattab, embarked on a series of conquests, and Palestine was no exception. The region was introduced to Islam, a faith that would significantly influence its culture, politics, and society in the centuries to follow. As the Islamic rule took hold, Arabic became the dominant language, and Islam the primary religion, forever shifting the region's demographics. The Islamic rulers were known for their tolerance of other religions, allowing Christians and Jews to continue practicing their faiths under Islamic governance. Then came the Middle Ages, a time when Palestine became a focal point of a series of religious wars known as the Crusades. European forces attempted to wrest control from the Muslim rulers, leading to a period of cultural and religious clashes that further shaped the region's history. This era marked the beginning of a predominantly Arab and Muslim presence in Palestine. As we venture into the more recent past, we encounter the long rule of the Ottomans. For about 400 years, from the 16th century until the end of World War I, Palestine was under the control of the expansive Ottoman Empire. This period was characterized by a relative calm, with the Ottomans administering the region through a system of local governance that allowed for a degree of cultural and religious autonomy. However, the Ottoman rule also saw significant demographic shifts. Jewish communities, which had been in the region for centuries, began to grow due to increased immigration from Europe. This immigration was partly a response to the rising tide of anti-Semitism on the continent, and partly due to the Zionist movement that sought a homeland for Jews in their ancestral lands. The end of World War I brought about a seismic shift in the region's geopolitics. The defeat of the Ottoman Empire led to its disintegration, and the League of Nations, the precursor to the United Nations, granted Britain the mandate to govern Palestine. The British were tasked with setting up a national home for the Jewish people, whilst also respecting the rights of the existing non-Jewish communities. This was a delicate balancing act, and suffice to say it was fraught with challenges. The British Mandate period was marked by growing tension between the Arab and Jewish communities. Both groups held deep-rooted historical claims to the land, and both saw the other as a threat to their national aspirations. These tensions often spilled over into violence, leading to a series of Arab-Jewish conflicts. Meanwhile, the Zionist movement continued to promote Jewish immigration to Palestine, further exacerbating the demographic changes and heightening the sense of unease among the Arab population. The stage was set for a clash of nationalisms, 
a collision of dreams and aspirations that would reverberate through the decades to come. The aftermath of World War I set the stage for the complex geopolitics of modern Palestine. The year 1947 brought a seismic shift to Palestine's landscape. This was the year the United Nations adopted a partition plan to divide Palestine into separate Jewish and Arab states, with Jerusalem under international administration. The plan was approved by a majority of the UN General Assembly, but was rejected by the Palestinian Arab leadership and by most of the Arab population. The following year, in 1948, the State of Israel was established. The birth of this new nation was met with jubilation by Jews worldwide, but it also sparked a profound crisis. Hundreds of thousands of Palestinian Arabs were displaced from their homes, marking the beginning of the Palestinian refugee crisis. This mass displacement, known as the Nakba or catastrophe in Arabic, continues to be a deeply painful memory for Palestinians. The establishment of Israel also ignited a series of wars and conflicts. The first Arab-Israeli war broke out immediately after Israel's declaration of independence, with neighboring Arab states launching a military intervention. Over the decades, the region has been marked by periods of intense conflict followed by attempts at peace, including the Oslo Accords in the 90s and the Camp David Summit in 2000. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict has been characterized by a cycle of violence, uprisings and peace negotiations. It's a complex issue rooted in disputes over land, borders, refugees and the status of Jerusalem. The situation is further complicated by internal divisions within both the Israeli and Palestinian communities. Efforts to find a resolution continue, with the most commonly proposed solution being the establishment of an independent Palestine alongside Israel, known as the two-state solution. However, reaching an agreement acceptable to both parties has proven to be an immense challenge. The path to peace remains uncertain, but understanding the history of Palestine helps us comprehend the complexities of the present day. The hope is that by acknowledging the past and the pain it has caused, a path towards reconciliation and a peaceful coexistence can be found.